Hello everyone and thanks for joining us for this Paranormal Pit Stop. Tonight we'll be exploring a small, peculiar city tucked away in northern Georgia that acts as the county seat of Lumpkin. Recognized for its wine country, mountain vistas, performing arts venues, restaurants and events, and surrounded by a slew of scary stories and tales of ghostly encounters, are you prepared to brave the history and hauntings of Dahlonega? Historically, land holding and surrounding what is now Dahlonega was initially inhabited by various native tribes, most dominantly the Cherokee Nation, who operated a number of gold mines. However, through the 19th century, European settlers would illegally trespass in the region and would develop their own mines, effectively stealing wealths of the precious resource. In 1829, this area would play host to the Georgia Gold Rush, which marked the second gold strike in the U.S. and the first major rush in the country, after which the town of Dahlonega would spring up seemingly overnight around rapidly growing mine sites and would be formally established in 1833. In 1836, the Lumpkin County Courthouse was constructed, and the same year the United States Mint would establish a branch out of Dahlonega. Sadly, after years of conflict, the federal government would literally force remaining Cherokee from their ancestral lands in what was called the Cherokee Removal of 1838. Until 1861, the Dahlonega Mint would continue to produce gold coin for the U.S. Treasury when, amidst the Civil War, operations were ceased, and following the war, the government would decide against reopening the facility. The mint would sit unused until 1873, when it was utilized as a main academic and administration building for the North Georgia Agricultural College. Sadly, however, the structure would catch fire in 1878 and would be left all but destroyed, after which in 1879, a new structure purposed for the college was erected. Through the end of the 19th century, interest in Dahlonega's gold-ripe land was renewed, and when the consolidated gold mine was established in 1899, it would claim the title of being the largest gold mine east of the Mississippi. By 1900, Dahlonega's population would reach 1,255, but this flourish would be short-lived, and by just 1906, a good number of local plants had closed their doors. By 1920, the population was all of 690 and dwindling. The Great Depression would hit the region hard, but Dahlonega would refocus their community to accommodate tourism. Slowly, the populace would make a rebound, and by the 1940s, the locale would play home to around 2,000 residents. In 1958, a wagon train filled with local Dahlonega gold would be sent off to the governor, after which the load would be formed into thin sheeting and added to the Capitol's dome. And in 1964, the Lumpkin County Courthouse would cease operations and would be transformed into the Dahlonega Gold Museum. As a tidbit of trivia, this particular courthouse holds the distinction of being the oldest unaltered courthouse in the whole of the state. Over the years, the small town's golden endeavors would prove successful, and the community would continue to grow and prosper. Dahlonega remains a popular tourist destination into the present, toting a range of exhibits, events, festivals, and lodging, dining, and shopping options, alongside the Crisson Mine and Dahlonega Consolidated Mine, which offer tours and authentic gold panning. Over its lengthy existence, the whole of this aged town site has been surrounded in a number of classic ghost stories and tales of encounters with the otherworldly. At the Gold Museum, formerly the courthouse, a number of reports detail strange knocking noises emanating from within walls, clanking and scratching sounds from the basement and attic, and encounters with shadowy figures in black robes. The Crimson Moon Restaurant is housed within a structure that was built in 1858 that holds the title of being the second oldest commercial structure on the historic public square, and across the property, both staff and guests have told of run-ins with a ghostly little girl in a white dress that's been known to appear to and even play with living children. The Hall House Hotel was constructed in 1881, making it the second oldest building in the whole of downtown Dahlonega, and over its many years, it served as a hotel private home, boarding house, as shop space, and now hosts the Hall House Hotel, Bourbon Street Grill, Blue Art Gallery, and Hall House Gallery. Both staff and guests to the Hall House have reported a range of paranormal happenings, including inexplicable crashes heard with no discernible source, run-ins with the spirits of soldiers in old-fashioned garb, as well as with the manifestation of a mysterious woman named Sarah, and encounters with a presence often referred to as the chessboard ghost that's been known to mess with the chess set kept near. Reported across the whole of Dahlonega, and confined to no area in particular, both locals and visitors have told of doors opening and closing on their own, of objects spied moving by themselves, and of disembodied voices or even the sounds of a crowd heard from empty spaces. 
The Jones Libel House, which was constructed in 1885 by physician and two-term mayor of Dahlonega, Dr. Charles Hammond Jones, today hosts shop space for a number of small businesses, and eerily, most tenants have their own share of ghost stories. Some tell of the entity of a 10-year-old boy named Joseph, who can be quite mischievous, others of a specter named Annie, who has been known to appear in photographs and who seems to be drawn to the porcelain dolls kept in one of the shops, others still of a spirit named Adam, who appears as a pale boy with a bowl cut and dark eyes, usually near the women's restroom, and several have described encounters with a negative, ominous presence that lurks in the attic. Also reported across Dahlonega are accounts of faucets and showers turning on and off by themselves, the constant feeling of being watched or followed, and instances in which the unsuspecting experience visions of the past, and a handful of informal investigations have yielded high EMF levels and downright spine-tingling EVPs. The Holly Theater launched initial operations through the 1920s and leased its building in 1939, and within, many have described extreme cold spots, lights that flicker during showings, strange figures that appear on screen, and otherworldly white silhouettes spied floating through windows after close. The Fred Jones Building once hosted the Chevrolet dealership of none other than Fred Jones, a former Dahlonega mayor who passed under mysterious circumstances. Now acting as commercial space, it's told the spirit of Fred remains on site and is most frequently encountered in his old office. Also reported across the property are run-ins with a spectral woman, who some claim worked as a cook long ago. Other paranormally charged hotspots around Dahlonega include Lumpkin County Elementary School, the Old Stanton Storehouse, the Dahlonega Square Hotel, the Vickery House, the Picnic Cafe, and a bulk of the town site's oldest structures. A more popular legend tied to the local area surrounds the Stone Pile Gap, an assortment of stones marking the grave of Cherokee Princess Trelita. It's told that any who drop a stone onto her grave will be blessed with happiness and beauty, but any who might dare to attempt to remove the stones will suffer an excruciating curse. Interestingly enough, on two separate occasions, road workers who attempted to move the princess's stones were met with accidents resulting in the deaths of crew members. Lastly, Mount Hope Cemetery was established circa 1800, holds more than a thousand grave sites, and is rumored to host a number of restless spirits, and those braving its expanse have reported orbs and strange mists in photographs, ghostly silhouettes sighted drifting about, and encounters with a group of Confederate soldiers locked in a game of cards. Thanks for tuning in for this Paranormal Pit Stop. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Pleasant dreams.